Hello and welcome to this let's play of Lego Racers. In the last episode we built a brand new car losing Basil the Batlord's car set. In this episode we're taking on this guy in a cowboy hat. Yes hello I'm gonna press you in a moment. Thank you for tapping on my screen. We're taking on Johnny Thunder. But wait, wait a second. Isn't this the same like four tracks I've done before? Well, the next three circuits, you're going to be taking on the 12 tracks you already played. But there's a dis surprise. I'll let Johnny Thunder explain. Yep, that's cool. Are you going to tell us what is so different about this track? Yeah. Nope. I'll tell you instead. The tracks are mirrored. And I got the boost this time. So for every left turn you're doing a right turn, every right turn you're doing a left. Just be wary of that. Johnny Thunder behaves the same way as Captain Redbeard. So if you do deal with Johnny Thunder the same way you deal with Captain Redbeard. Get as far away from him as possible. Oh, and I think I did something totally bizarre. Instead of using a green brick boost, I decide not to boost at all. That's cool. There we go. And there we go. We're just beating the first lap. I just really... If I go quiet at times, it's just because I'm concentrating on what's going on. It's not because I'm ignoring you guys. I just want to make sure that this content is the best content. Or is as good a content as I can produce for both you and all my fans who are watching. From the comfort of their own home. Whoa. What? Okay, I'm ahead. And now I get to watch the obelisk fall. The obelisk has fallen. So now. I'm ahead. I'm ahead. I got a flawless victory when I was facing Captain Redbird in a second. Can I do the same again with the Johnny Thunder? Who knows? But remember, this is just a mirrored version of that. But hey. That's not open yet. I'm not going to make it go open. I have no intention to. But I do need to boost because Johnny Thunder's coming up on my tail. And oh dear, quick. I've got to come out and do a quick. Oh my god, for someone that is this far ahead, or use that many boosts, he's not that far behind. But that's clearly because of my own driving. But I have won this first race. Um, uh, Johnny Thunder is not as hard as Basil the Bat Lord. He's probably got the same difficulty as uh, Captain Redbeard, and I didn't find that challenging. Again, this pace is just as fun as it was last time out. Again, I missed out on the boost, but that's fine. Not the end of the world. And like I said previously, hey Wolfie, how do you like featuring on an episode? It's the Wolf episode. The episode. For the Wolfman! The Wolfman in the building! <coughs> um, and the Wolf is, yeah, and I'm already in the lead. I do find that this track is really easy to get up in front. In funny enough, in testing, while I was like, uh, before like uh, Circuit 3, I did a bit of practice and I did find this really random glitch. I'll probably show you near the end of the Let's Play. But there was this really random glitch that occurred while doing this game. I found it quite hilarious. Well, I literally landed in the middle of um, one of them bits and it just flew me back. It was so funny. But I'm already ahead. I've got a significant need. I'm not even trying at this point. Just get the gold bricks, white bricks even. By getting white bricks, I can get a super powerful warp. Alright. Well, I didn't get through there, but that's fine. That's not important. And. But yeah, I'm just going to do that. I win the race. That means I do have a 20 point need going into race number three, which is the. the uh, probably, I'd say, the hardest track on this circuit. By quite some margin. 
Alright, but in my personal opinion anyway, um, this circuit, I must say, is not the hardest circuit. But this track, I'd say it's the hardest of all of them. Not that this track, I'd say, is overly hard. It's just, it's harder to get the white bricks and get your warps. That's probably what makes it a bit harder. But as you say now, I've already got two. And... I got a great oh dip. Whoa, that's a random. Don't know what happened there. Okay. Whoa, alright. Yeah, I kinda caught up after that little mishap. Oh what a hit! Yeah, long shot! That was actually pretty awesome. That doesn't normally happen. But no, you're not getting ahead of me like that, you moron. Da, da, da. All right. All right. Right, I'm using every boost that I can right now. Just to get ahead of this guy. I'm using the shield just in case he tries to sneak shot me. Oil spill just in case he tries to attack me. Yes, it hit him. That's cool. Now mob him! Mob him your minions! Minions mob! Not that I need him to. I'm well got a decent advantage right now. I think I've only used one warp so far this race. Which is probably more of what I used in this race last time. But I did get a little further behind. But that's not the point. I want to use this. Use that. Oh no, I missed that. Now I found another thing. Can I use the other thing? I use a, the warp. Missed that. That's fine. I'm already. I've got somewhat an advantage. I don't want to look behind just in case anything happens. I'm going to use that. Is he going to try anything? Nope, it's too late. I win and I've won the circuit with one race to go. That is pretty awesome. If I do say so myself. On to the final race. I've already won the circuit. Again, these tracks are all mirrored, but it's not really proving any different to my luck. And I've got boost again. And that in itself is pretty awesome. These do look... Uh, I have to say that these sort of tracks are surprisingly fresh, despite them being mirrors. So, well done to the dirt devs of this game by making these tracks look somewhat fresh, even though they're mirrored. And I think that's probably to cut down on development costs. But it may seem lazy, but I don't really care. I'm going to warp. There we go. We've got a decent lead. And then I'm just going to boost. We have such an advantage. And now I'm getting that brick. And... And then we're going to grab that brick. We're grabbing that. We've got the bricks, 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 bricks. There are a ton of bricks. I could have like, done that and then collect all three of those. But I want a green brick. Oh my god, they're coming up. Better be, oh my god. Gotta get a green. Oh god. Oh god. Run. I was not expecting you to do that. Oh, come on! Are you serious? Jeez, you need to be beaten within an inch of your life, mate! Seriously? Well, I've won, but it's not going to be flawless. Johnny Thunder? No. Alright, I'm taking the shortcut. Alright, this is going to be pretty tough. I'm pretty close. Alright. Uh, come on, boost! Oh, just! Just no! Oh, well, well, I've won the circuit. 0 0.6! Point not 6! 0.06 difference from a flawless win. I still win the circuit, though, but that's a little annoying. But hey, I win. I get a new car set. I can part in the top step of the podium. Booyah! 
four out of four. Again, this is the first try. Like, it's not much of an achievement being like it's Johnny Thunder. Like, Battle of the Batlord, really. Uh, I was really surprised, but oh my god. Yep. Fourth car set. Fourth circuit. Boom. I am on fire. I'm well happy with my progress that I've made so far. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of LEGO Races. In this episode, we've beaten Johnny Thunder. In the next episode, we're going to be building a car using Johnny Thunder's car set. And then we're going to be asking the all-important question, who on earth is this explorer type guy? To find the answer to this question and many more questions, tune in to the next episode of LEGO Racers courtesy of Robotic Master. This is Robotic Master signing off. <coughs>